हेलो 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 एवरीवन हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग गुड नाइट ऑलमोस्ट टू एनी वन हु इज जॉइनिंग विद अस फॉर दिस सेशन सो ग्रेट टू सी ऑल ऑफ यू रितिका पायल दीप्ति एंड मुकुल हेलो मैम हेलो हेलो एवरीवन हेलो हेलो एवरीवन हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर जीईजी अहमदाबाद एंड पुणे saturday session where we do professional development for anybody educators um, entrepreneurs anyone who needs to use any kind of ed tech tools related to education so what are geegs for the people who are joining us for the first time geegs are google educator groups which uh, helps bring all the educators together just to learn share inspire and empower each other so my name is reshma hona i am leader for geeg pune and along with me i have amazing team so uh, please go ahead introduce yourself hi my name is ritika and i am co leader of gg pune in maharashtra hello myself mukul bapat and i am learn captain of gg pune maharashtra pal ma'am you are mute hello everyone myself pal rachadia and i am a co leader of gg amdavan हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग गुड मॉर्निंग जिसको जो पसंद आए ले लेना आई एम दीप्ति व्यास एंड आई एम कोलीडर ऑफ जीजी अहमदाबाद थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड वी आर मिसिंग डॉक्टर विशाल वारिया टुडे ही इज द लीडर ऑफ जीजी अहमदाबाद बट ही इज ऑन अ लिटिल ट्रिप विद फैमिली एंड होप ही एंजॉयज हिज ट्रिप सो एक्साइटिंग सेशन टुडे एंड अ लॉट ऑफ यू हैव बीन यूजिंग दिस टूल बट बिफोर वी गो देयर we have a, a different uh, a little bit of energizer so if you are joining with us and if you are an educator you must have observed that sometimes your class just gets boring or your student don't want to do things or sometimes when you attend any kind of professional development sessions you actually don't want to get involved in things because they get laggy they get boring so activities which are called energizers or we also call it as brain breaks or classroom activities which actually help to reactivate the brain of the students as well as uh, people like us for uh, when when we are sitting for a longer period of time or just doing the same thing again and again so it actually helps us focus they are just fun activities basically um, there there is uh, something that is called as these activities even help us to um, see or know each other probably you are in the classroom the students get to know their uh um, group members the teachers get to know their students as well as it is designed to help participants to get a little bit of brain break and then get excited about what's coming in so today we are going to do such kind of activity with you and pile ma'am and dipti ma'am are going to help us with that okay over to you both of you hello everyone so as reshma ma'am said we just start our ice breaking activity or energy activity this or that so here uh here you can find the two pictures and you ha just have to say the your opinion what would you like to choose yes ma'am uh pal ma'am i can't see that speaker's note so just uh, you ask a question i will answer okay so same what same i will just suggest yeah what i will suggest we all should just answer here and then we will request our um, uh, audience to just put it in the chat a or b so it's a it's a big yes. decision making thing for everyone so pal ma'am just ask a question i will answer okay in a first picture what would you like in your holidays uh, i think you like to busy or you like to be lazy actually condition is b1 but we like a1 <laughs> correct <laughs> half of half of the holiday i like i am very lazy and after half of the holiday okay i, I, I uh, there is remaining so much work so just i uh, doing all this all this all this ye baki ye baki ye baki so yes ma'am but okay, okay. i have yes, multitasking okay. comes up <laughs> yeah no now this is this is actually would you rather you have to pick one so it's a decision making time i so pick for my me, yeah, firstly a a for a. me b 
okay okay great. same here Please. i like to be a because uh, you know holidays i like a little bit lazy <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, next one is if you don't have any uh, item to eat, so what do you choose? Broccoli or you want Just to stay make... hungry? Yeah. <laughs> uh... No, no. I don't like broccoli. So I stay hungry. I will stay hungry. I don't like broccoli. No, no. I will. I will eat something. So yeah. Even yeah. Healthy, healthy, whatever healthy healthy I find in the fridge, I'll eat that. <laughs> Yeah, I can see a lot of answers coming in our YouTube chat, which is exciting. So yes. Ma'am would, uh, would love broccoli. Me too. Okay, let's go move on. Philomena, Ma'am also okay. will love okay. okay, fine. The next uh, question is, in your free time, what would you prefer to do? Uh, do be, you like be, to do... Be. Let me <laughs> let me just ask. What <laughs> would you like to do? Online or offline game? Uh, offline. What? With children. Uh, yeah. Online, online. B. I will be doing online. I am all offline with kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's at your time. Okay. Okay, let's move on. So we are getting answers again. Okay. Exciting. If you have a time to be celebrate holidays or vacations, then what would you prefer? Uh, you like to go in a beach or you like to go on a mountains? Mountains. Be be uh, I, I will answer beach. it. Being a Pisces. I like water, so it is a beach. Ha, beach, beach. I will also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. I like water. So I'm the only yeah. one who's going to go on mountains. <laughs> yeah, I'm still deciding. I love beach, but I don't uh, like water. But uh, maybe I'll, 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 I'll join you. Okay, I'll go to B. <laughs> I would love that. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, next one here. Uh, what would you uh, if you are a you are a sweet tooth? Then what would you choose, sweet or uh, Indian mithai? Yeah, a cake. Being Indian, sweet, sweet. Cake being or Indian mithai? Sweet. Mithai, I will mithai, mithai, mithai. I will mm -hmm. go with cake. Huh? I'll also go with cake. Exciting! I mithai. see a lot of uh, teachers answering and. Uh, this is exciting. So see how, how we are building up excitement amongst ourselves also. So if you give such kind of fun activities, break activities to even students or during your professional development yeah. sessions, now this can be based on what you are teaching also. So uh, if you if I like I'm a math teacher, I would say, would you would you be a polygon or would you be a, a, a angle? Right. So mm -hmm. angle is like you're open and polygon is like closed. So that just even tells you. Um, the nature of your student or how how he loves to work okay sorry continue yeah uh, i just like to give answer this question because being a gujarati i like a sweets <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. okay that's all for today thank you very much hope you enjoy this session oh, yes yes that was very, very fun yes <laughs> okay Energy. it was exciting mm -hmm. okay Ritika, you're uh, all yours. Okay, now I would like to welcome a dear friend, Ms. Kasturi Kejriwal on stage. Uh, Ms. Kasturi Kejriwal is a training and technology officer at the Newton School, Kolkata. She's an Apple certified teacher and an ed tech trainer who has trained more than 5,000 educators and is still continuing to do the same. So most welcome, ma'am. Hello, Kasturi, ma'am. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to the session, I'm... Kasturi. Thank you, Reshma. All teachers are very excited about the session because uh, teachers are using a PowerPoint and uh, all are eager to know more about it. So all are excited. I'm sure I'll be able to help. OK, so I would request all the audience members to type in their questions in the chat box. And uh, we'll start with the presentation, Kasturi, ma'am. All set. All right, so before I share my screen, um, a small something that I would like to know. Uh, what I have seen for the past couple of months is that uh, whenever we educators, we are uh, taking classes, we have created a lot of content, a lot of content, and in whichever platform which was given to us. And uh, what I have uh, noticed strangely is that uh, PowerPoint presentations have been used like crazy. And I have seen contents where Teachers have created, um, you know, wonders. 
So I think today we will uh, have this session, which is more focused on the PowerPoint presentation. And um, though I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, focus on a particular thing, not everything, because we don't have that much of time. But yes, I don't want it to be a boring session where only I'm going to lecture. So the educators who have joined in, I would request if you can get hold of your system, an extra system where you can open your PowerPoint presentation, you can just put a hands on with me. It'll be more fun rather than just me showing because you can always come back and see this YouTube, um, you know, through the YouTube link, the uh, recorded session. But uh, right? so I'm going to quickly share my screen right now and I'm going to take you through something. So uh, a special thanks to a teacher who created this is uh, the teacher, Miss Nag, who created this animation that I'm going to show you right now. So give me a second. Let me just share my screen. There I go. I hope my uh, screen is visible. Yes, ma'am, it is. You can move it. So this was something which was prepared by one of a uh, uh, teacher, as I said, wherein we see that um, she created wonders, you know, she put magic in the presentation. So this was something which was, uh, uh, you know, created for a geography class, wherein, you know, the teacher intended to show a world map uh, through a presentation. So, Quickly, as I will share my presentation, I would like to focus on animation today. It's a very basic uh, PowerPoint presentation that uh, a teacher has created. Uh, though it was created for uh, a lot of other uh, trainings, but I'm going to put stress on applying animation effect, adding transition, and playing with uh, layers. Okay, how we can put magic and bring things to life when we prepare something on a PowerPoint presentation. Um, I think uh, the educators that we have on a live channel, we, I'm sure there are many educators who are like, you know, familiar with all the uh, effects and everything, but also there might be few teachers who have uh, just started using PowerPoint presentation. So just for them, a small uh, introduction so we can add pictures in PowerPoint presentations, which is very, very essential while we are making the presentation. And uh, I'm going to do a hands on. So don't worry. So just follow the screen that is uh, now being shown where uh, if you can see the insert tab here, if you can see from there, we can uh, quickly insert pictures. We can also insert sound clips. Let me let me just tell you this, that I'm sharing this for the basic user just who have started using PowerPoint presentations, perhaps. Then um, I'm going to show you how you can insert and all that. We can also insert video clips, something like this. These are few icons which we should be familiar because when we do our hands-on teachers, I think um, we will have to have the same terminologies being used. So these are a few ideal, uh, you know, icons that you should be familiar with. I'm sure everybody is by now. Here comes the best part. This is the animation part, okay? Animation effect that is there. So we will be today focusing mainly on this particular tab and we're gonna create wonders, okay? So I think it's, it's better that I quickly shift to the Hands on, I think that will be easier for anybody. So, so I think everybody can see a blank screen um, on the screen, uh, a PowerPoint presentation, which is like a blank presentation. And I'm going to show you how we can create animation here and, you know, uh, make a scene where, let's say, um, we have hills. So right now there was this activity who wants to go to the hills and who wants to go to the beach and stuff. So let's 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 play with that. Um, 
If we take a new slide here from the tab here, I can see the tab here. So we insert a new tab and we take a blank page here, okay? Now, we go to insert, as I was saying, then you see this tab which is coming here. This is full of tools that we can make magic with. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pictures and then I'm going to click on stock images. Okay, so stock image is nothing but a repository of image which has recently come uh, in uh, the Microsoft uh, template. And let's say, okay, mountains for Reshma and Ritika. So let's select um, any mountain. Oh, so many. Okay, 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 okay. Let me let me select one. Let me select which one to select, yeah? So many. Let me select this. Okay. So I don't need this um, design ideas as of now. Neither do I need this right now. So what I've done is I've just uh, inserted a picture from the stock image. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it evenly through the entire space that I have on the PowerPoint presentation. I just hope I'm not running fast. Now, just to recap, insert picture and we have taken the picture. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this slide. So right click and duplicate. And now in the second slide, what we do is we click on this picture and we go to picture format. Okay. What are we doing? We're trying to put layers. Okay. Why we have taken another slide is because we're going to put layers so that the animation effect that I'm going to show you will pop up. Okay, so let's say I go to picture format and I'm going to select this remove background. Let me tell you this remove background option is really, really uh, wonderful. And, and uh, off late, what has happened, they have really made it very simple. Initially, it was a little uh, difficult for people who doesn't know how to draw and has to work with mouse and stuff. But now I think it's easier. So what I've selected here is mark areas to keep. So I want this area to be there. I want the whole of this to be there. So I'm just marking that. Uh, I want these as well. So you just need to mark those places that you want with this pen. Let me tell you, I'm using a mouse. Huh? So bear with me. And let's say I don't want this. So I'm going to mark this area, which I don't want. So let's say I don't want this, okay? So roughly, I'm trying to create a layover. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just keeping the change that I've done. So what I did is the first image that was there, I kind of created a duplicate image and tried to edit from where I want the layer to happen, okay? So I'm going to the second slide once again, and I'm copying this particular slide And I'm going back to the first slide and I'm going to paste it here. Now see, it has been pasted. Now the alignment needs to be done properly so that it doesn't look like that this is some other image. Okay, so let's say this is the alignment that we have done. Nope. yeah, now it is okay. A little bit more, a little bit more, great. So what we have done so far, we created first slide with one uh, scene. We duplicated the slide and we kind of erased the part that we don't want and we kept those part that we wanted. And we duplicated the second slide and we pasted it on, on the first slide, all right? Now I'm going back to insert. I'm going back to picture, stock image. And I'm going to get a picture of a moon. Whoa. Let's say this is the one. And I click insert. 
So I'll get a huge picture of moon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop it as per my need. So my ultimate motto is that I'm going to create an animation where I will have this uh, moon rising up behind the mountains. Okay. So I have cropped it. Now, obviously, this black spot, I need to remove that. So I will again go to remove background. And I think I'll get the moon. But it's okay, I think. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it somewhere here. Okay. So, so far my base is ready. Right. Now I'm going to go to animation. Now I'm going to put the animation in it. Right. So I click here. I go to animation effect. And this would be the pane that will open up. I will go to more motion path. And let's say I want this from down to up. So it should be up, okay? And I'm gonna click, okay, here. Now, obviously we need to place it in such a manner that it should be up here. Now, when we click on this animation toolbar, no? This animation pane that you see here is, is very important. You know, this will help you. This would be this pane which will come by the side of your screen, which will help you understand how far you have been uh, able to animate your presentation. Okay. Now, so if I play right now, see, it's rising from here till here. So the basic animation is done. But again, there are a few effects that we need to put in this. And obviously, the sun cannot or the moon cannot come just like that, right? We have to put it in such a layer that the animation is as perfect as any, any uh, you know, content that is there. We get those smart class content, right? So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to put some effect over here. So how do we do that? We go to animation. We go to animation pane. And the animation pane comes here by this side. So already this particular thing is selected here where I have put the animation, okay? I'm going to click here, down arrow, I'm going to click here, then effect option. So the animation has to be smooth. So the transition has to be smooth, right? So what I do is I click here and I get this particular pane where I'm going to make it as smooth start and smooth end so the animation looks perfect flawless right and in the same way you can control the timing of your animation as well so let's say i click on timing make it a little slower um slow medium very slow okay so I put it as very slow so now slowly it is rising up but till now, there is something which is missing. What is that? Can anybody tell me? Um, I'm not sure. I, uh, I can see in the chat um, some cool ideas. But can anybody say me where am I going wrong in this presentation? I, I want it to be interactive. Um, OK. Nobody is answering, so I will take it. <laughs> yeah, Kasturi, I I just thought of something. I don't know, but um, I think it should come from behind the mountains, right? Yes, yes, correct, correct. Right. So I'm going to show you now how that can happen. So yeah, somebody said uh, moon is moon is at two different places. Taljit yeah, said correct, correct. So so, so yeah. the point is, this is like. This is like uh, your drawing palette, okay? So you're trying to draw something and bring in animation. So when you are drawing, so there are different layers of colors that you put, right, to bring it to life. So that's the reason why I created two duplicate slides. Remember at the beginning of the slide when we started, we duplicated a picture, then edited it, and then put it together. The reason is this.
Okay. Go to home. Now, when you click on arrange, select pane. Now, can you see this five? Five is which picture? This picture, okay? The last picture that we added. So we, we added three pictures, the first original, then the edited mountain one, and then this moon, right? So where did I go? I, I went back to home. Then I quickly went to arrange and I selected selection pane so that I can select with what I want to play. Now, what I'm going to do is this particular uh, uh, picture five, I'm going to bring it down. What did I do? from five, which was at the top, I just clicked on this arrow and brought it down, okay? Now we can't see the moon anymore, but yes, if I go back and if I play, slowly, slowly the moon should rise. It didn't rise, it vanished. Why? Because I deleted the moon with the request of that mom. Some, some teacher said, no, the moon is in two places. I deleted that, okay. So what I'm going to do is, once again, I'm going to quickly take you through this. And I want all of you to work with me. So quickly, new slide. I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to quickly insert picture, stock image. I hope people are doing it. And I'm going to take mountains. And then where is my mountain? This is my mountain and I'm going to insert it. I'm going to put it to plane. Make it full here. I'm not duplicating anything because I already did it. This is just a revise that we're doing. I'm copying this particular image and we are pasting it here. Sizing it properly. Yes. Nope. Give it a sec. It has to be here. Mm, okay. Now I can go in here. Insert picture image moon. Take a moon. Insert. Quickly crop it. Quickly crop it, crop, 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 crop. Here we go. Done cropping. Remove background. I want this to be there. I want this. I want this. I want this. Okay. Keep changes. Make it smaller, a little bit more, pull it down, go to animation, effect, motion path, go down, up, okay, effect. Once again, we go to smooth start, smooth end, done. We go to timings, we make it slow, very slow, okay? And we just drag it a little bit, yeah. Now we go back to home, arrange, selection pane, Bring five down here. Yeah. Go back, play. Here we go. How many of you did it? Reshma, ma'am? Yeah, exciting, exciting. I was actually, my eyes were on the moon, like behind the mountains. I said, Abhi, Abhi, Aiga. Yeah. And like, Abhi, Aiga. Abhi, Isko, hum agar isme dekhe na. Presentation mode me dekhe. Mm -hmm. So what happens is uh, this this was done with one of the teachers only. I learned it from one of the teachers. 
she was teaching sunrise and sunset and stuff like that to their students. So all of a sudden she was like, now the magic will come. You hoo and then the moon rose, right? So it was like really, really nice. So I you can see, this. yeah. And uh, the best thing that I like about it is it's so easy to remove the background. So easy, trust and me. And then you don't need any kind of uh, big softwares, Photoshop's, oh. video tools, or video making apps or anything. And this can be just done in few clicks. I know I still need to practice how to do it, but uh, it's. And you won't believe, Reshma, I did it with this. I don't know whether it's visible. I did it with yeah, this. Mouse. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is very simple. And this is this was uh, sunrise sunset. You can choose so many pictures from this particular uh, stock image thing, which is a new addition that has come in Microsoft recently. Uh, I think uh, 1920 or 2021, they have added a whole lot of things. You know, you can do wonders with this. And trust me, students, you know, they look up to you. They're like, okay, ma'am, what next? Mm -hmm. So, and it is so simple to do it. Okay, a so quick question, like what version of PowerPoint is this? This is Office 365 that you have to use. Okay. And right now, if you don't have a licensed version also, uh, let's say if you're using it for internal purpose, like, you know, Avi uh, use Kareo, then you can get it uh, in add-ons as well. Okay. So that's available. Perfect. Please continue. Right. Okay, so this was a layer animation uh, that we did. Very simple, three, four, five, I think, uh, maximum seven, eight uh, clicks that we did uh, on the animation part, I'm saying. And it is very, very simple. What I'm going to show you right now is that globe, remember, which was spinning. So I'm going to show you how to make that. Uh, again, I learned it from one of the teachers and um, very interesting, very interesting. It is and very simple again. This really helps. So I'm going to quickly go back to home. Take a new slide and I'm going to take a blank slide. Okay, let me do something. Let me just quickly delete these so that there is no confusion. I hope the teachers are enjoying. I'm not able to see the entire conversation on the other device, but I hope they are enjoying. Okay. Yes, we absolutely are enjoying it. We are getting a lot of comments. Oh, great, great. All right, so back to the spinning of the earth. So what, what I'm doing right now is again, going to the basic, I have taken a new slide, all right? And again, insert option. Now what I'm gonna do this time is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little layering as well, but it would be a, a little different, okay? So it will have a couple of uh, combination of shape and pictures. Otherwise, the animation does not uh, really come that effective, okay? So let's say I'm going to take a shape, uh, a rectangle. Okay, I've taken a rectangle. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to try and fit it as much as possible with the platform which is there. You will see the difference here is that I did not insert a picture directly. I have taken a shape here first because what happens, the animation that now we are going to do would be a little more critical than what we did just now. Okay. But don't take critical as critical. It is as simple as what we did last time. So what I'm going to do right now is I've taken this rectangle, which is blue in color, but I'm going to put it as uh, white. Okay. And now I'm going to go and insert a picture of, let's say, um, galaxy. Let me put, uh, which one? Oh, I always get confused. There's so many brilliant pictures here. Um, let me take this one only. Okay. So I have inserted a picture. Let me just close this. And I'm again going to drag it to full. Yep. Now, uh, a question can come in your mind that, okay, why we are like, you know, dragging it to kind of, uh, why we are not using the way it is coming on the screen? The answer is when you play the animation now, it, it 
it should look like an animation, right? It shouldn't look like a PowerPoint presentation, right? So when you click play, the if you do not put it throughout the white background or the blue background or whichever color background you have, that will come. Okay, fine. So what I did, a small recap, blank slide. Then I had inserted a shape. Then uh, I have made it white color and now have inserted a uh, picture, which is of a galaxy. Now, again, I'm going to go and insert, insert a shape. Okay. So, yes, we are doing something with Earth. So, I have taken this. Same way, we will make it white. Okay. Again, the question why white is because now we're going to put certain materials inside this so this is that ghee okay so this white is where we're going to put something and then we're going to play with it and we're going to be good chef so don't worry about it um some small tips here what we need to do is we need to club all these uh features that we are using so it is very simple so we just click outside this white uh, circle and we press control so control is where we want to kind of, you know, do something with the system. We press control and people who are using uh, a Mac for that matter and still using um, Windows as a platform. There are few, few of us. We do that there. You have to press command. OK, so I'm pressing control here and I'm selecting both the pictures. Now, can you see this that both both the shape, I mean, this rectangle shape with galaxy in it and this white shape, both are selected. How do we know that? By these white, white dots that we get to see here. OK, so both are selected. Now we go to shape format. Now, I know it's getting a little, little more complicated, but it's important. You have to go to shape format and you have to merge these two because the animation would run behind the entire platform that we're creating. So I'm going to go to merge shape and I'm going to click combine. Okay. So both of these are combined now. So it's a, it's one. Okay. All right. Now I go to insert and I go to picture. I go to stock image. So many image that I get and I'm going to quickly type wall map. And this is my favorite currently. Very nice picture. Uh, we're going to resize this uh, so that this one fits, you know, on the on the on the circle. No, I will not see the chats. Otherwise, I'll get distracted. So what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, resizing this on this. All right, a little bit more. But we have to make sure uh, teachers, educators, and, and rest of my guests, um, the entire white portion is covered, OK? We have to be careful about that. Otherwise, what will happen when the animation plays, final animation plays, those white edges will be shown, OK? All right, now we only have this. Now, it's a flat image. So we have to make it like circular it has to move on and on and on otherwise it's not a globe right so very simple remember we did some clubbing in the previous layer that we did we're going to do the same thing here so we kind of uh, copy this image very simple we copy this image and we again paste this image on top of it and we put it side by side now, let's say if any of you, uh, while you're doing it, you're having trouble seeing it on your screen, what you can do is you can just minimize your screen size from uh, down here and you can place it accordingly so that it's visible for you. And I'm going to quickly select both the pictures. Do you remember how we select both the pictures? Control, press Control key and select, click, click on both the pictures, all right? Now, Right click and what to do? Group. Yes, we are going to group this picture so that it is one picture. All right. Group. Now see, it's it's one full picture. So half of our work is done. Okay, now comes the animation part, the fun part. We select this and we quickly go to animation. Okay, same thing. 
we will always okay one very important thing whenever we are doing animation no you should always have the animation paid by your side so it's like it's like the rough work kind of a thing so that really helps when you're working on uh, powerpoint presentation and spe especially animation all right and i want this same we where, where are we going we are going to animation then we are going to this uh, uh, options wherein there, there can be many things. So let's say if you're doing something in other subject wherein you, you want the animation from, from you know, here and here or, or somewhere else. So you can select from here. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a motion path wherein I'm giving it as left. You know, like this or like that. Press OK. Now if I play this, see, it, it's, it's like whoosh. So that's not acceptable. So again, we go here. To the animation pane. I hope they are able to uh, follow. Merge and group will work same or no, they're different. They're different. Um, I'll come back to that. Uh, that was from Mukul Ma'am, I think. I'll come back to that. Um, so if I click here and I go to effects, remember we, me we made a smooth start and a smooth end. Always we should do this because that gives you a very edgy uh, finish to your uh, animation that you're trying to do. Okay. And we again will slow it down a bit. So we go to the timing. And let's say we make it extremely slow. Okay. This is what uh, the teacher who created that animation did. So I'm just uh, showing what she did only. She was a great help. Uh, now, see, it's moving slowly. Right? Very good. Now, the last... Now, we're going to do that. So, we're going to right-click on this image now. Okay? And simply click on Send to Back. Please note, do not click on Send to Back. I mean, this one. Click on send to back on the toolbar and then click on this arrow and you have to click on send backward. Okay, don't click send, send to back. Then the entire image will go back uh, at the first layer. Okay, now when you see this, when you play, your animation is done. This is really, really simple. And when you play it as a slide, so this is how it is. So you take your classes and you say, hey, there, there, there is India and you know what's happening. So, so the earth is like rotating and this is how it's, uh, it's moving. Right, so cool. I think, um, okay, we still have time. So uh, these were the two things that I really wanted to show you. And uh, there are there are so many other things that uh, uh, you can have. You know, there are so many other things that you can do wonders with animation. Um, yeah, so the story, uh, if I may interrupt you, uh, it's it's going amazing, and uh, we never realized that animation in PowerPoint could do so much and just make it look like uh, it's actually a video, right? Yeah, it's a magic. So a couple magic. of questions, if I may ask you now. Yeah. Uh, our audience wants to know the difference between the grouping and merging, right? So you you use these words. So right. so uh, ideally, if you see when you're doing an animation, when you're grouping something, you're making it as one, and when you're merging, you're putting it inside together. So you're getting it merged. So when you're putting layers, if it is a merged thing, then the layer can be put in between. But in group, you cannot because it's it's one. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. So anything the, that is done uh, to that whole group applies to each object within uh, that group, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Correct. In interesting. And there was another question. Um, another question that um, I just saw is: Will they work same? So they won't work same. No. Uh, uh, if if I say that it won't work same, I will be wrong. There are circumstances where both the features will work same. But when I'm talking about animation, all right, so uh, there are a lot of, you know, a lot of ways through which you can do animation. These were very basic, mm -hmm. right? 
So there might be cases where both will work as same function, right? But two options that I showed today, one was layering, proper layering, and one was proper animation. Okay. Perfect. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. So layering yeah. is very simple. So there you need not group or anything. So it's like layers, one, mm -hmm. two, three, and then you can put something in between. So there you did not group. Right. But, and uh, last question for now is, uh, can you have images from your computer? Like teachers have their own um, content sets. Absolutely. Okay. So Absolutely. it's not necessary that they have to be stock images. Yep. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. We, we, yeah, we are ready to learn some more uh, tips and tricks. Yeah. Okay. So the last thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to share my screen once again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you something. Um, some word of thanks from my end, maybe. But yet we will learn something from it. All right. So... Though it's a plain, simple screen, but um, this this is like a word of thanks from my end. It was uh, really, really nice to be on this session. I really had a lovely session and uh, definitely was a pleasure, uh, the questions that came up. And, and, and I hope uh, I was able to uh, shed some knowledge, share some knowledge that I have with the educators group and uh, they'll be able to uh, take it forward and i'm going to definitely see you soon guys yet uh, want to learn this trick what is this trick can anybody tell me it's a very simple thing okay so what what i did just now is i just created simple bullet points that we all do in all our presentations right so you just put bullet 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 right and then we give a presentation. Any anybody may might it be uh, an entrepreneur or a teacher or a trainer or a student, but it is always important that we focus on the bullets. So when you have n number of bullet points, so the first one and the second one and the third one, when you it's it's all same. But what happens when you shift the focus? So the first one is done. Now the second one is in focus, and then the third. So it's very simple. It's a very simple thing. I will share my screen once again, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. You can do it like every day. Okay. So uh, is my uh, screen visible? I think it is. Yes, it is visible. Yeah. All right. Okay. So see what I have done is um, I have created certain bullet points here. Okay. Again, we had animation in this um, and the animation was very simple. We just selected all whatever I had written and I have gone to animation and I have given this uh, wipe animation. Okay. And I've created an effect where I've given it from left or from right. Okay. So this is a simple animation that I have given. Now, remember what I said, whenever we are working on animation, you should always keep this worksheet, you know, a rough page that we say, animation pane open. And you can do wonders from there. So you selected this, you put some animation, whatever, whichever animation you want to put, split, float in, fly, whatever. And then you come here in the animation pane here, Select all the all the all the text that you have, and then click here. Okay, it will give you another uh, small uh, tool uh, pane wherein it should be start on click yes, and the rest is up to you how you want to uh, do it. It can be uh, fifty second, it can be anything. I mean, whichever timing you want to put. Now, effect option. If you go to effect option, you will see after animation. Usually, by default, it is don't dim. Usually, whenever you're doing a normal presentation, okay? So from there, you just need to change to any color that you see. So let's say these are the basic colors that we use. So let's say this one, which is normally used uh, by educators. So you will see it happening like this. Now, let's say you want to uh, change the timing a bit. 
you can make it um, medium. That is also possible. This is, again, this customization is absolutely as per the teacher's requirement. Okay. So now when you see, when I play it as a, a slideshow, so one click, this is the focus. I had a lovely session. Now I want the focus to change to this. It was certainly a pleasure. Then the next. See you soon, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, that was superb. That was really, really amazing. And I hope you had a nice time. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm just pulling up all the whole team back here again, just because everybody has something to say about the session. Like we were chatting behind. Okay. I was saying, it was amazing. It was an amazing session. Oh, thank you, Muguma. Thank you. Yeah, because I, I just have one to ask you. Sure. I want to ask you one thing. Well, can we uh, add animation in table? Yeah, you can. Okay. You can. If you, if you can show, please. Yeah. I don't have a presentation. Uh, because uh, in table, all contents are coming together. Uh, can we have uh, means uh, row by or column by? Can we do it? So it can be customized, Mukul, ma'am. So uh, for that, you need to have a proper, like, you know, an Excel prepared first and then group it with the animation and then paste it on the slide. So what I can do is maybe next time when you when you call me okay. or when I be a part of you guys, <laughs> definitely. Definitely have it. Okay, uh, definitely. No problem. Also, Kasturi, ma'am, there was a question from Daljeet, ma'am, that if you can show the option to remove the background again. Ah, uh, sure, sure. Uh, from uh, which teacher can you come again with the name? Ritika? Daljeet, Daljeet, ma'am. Daljeet ma'am. Yeah. Daljeet ma'am, surely I'm going to show you. I'm just sharing my screen once again. Just give me a minute. All right. So here's my screen. And I'm going to share. And let me, let me, let me take a new one. Just a sec. Okay. So I'm starting from uh, fresh. So I'm taking a presentation here. And I'm going to Click here, take a new slide. Okay, Daljeet ma'am. So this is my new slide. And as there was another question that if we can take a picture from uh, our devices, yes, you can take your own uh, pictures as well from your devices or you can have online pictures as well. I'm taking stock pictures uh, since it is there. So um, Daljeet ma'am, what picture, which picture should I take? Um, let me take this, this looks nice, right Sunny? Okay, so this is my picture. I'm just covering this up. Now, let's say you want to remove the background. So what we have to do. So removing a background of what? The picture, right? So obviously, we'll have to select the picture. And we will have to go to picture format. Okay. By chance, if you're not getting picture format, it, it might be, you know, it's selected as home or it's selected something else. You have to make sure when you select a picture, you have to go to picture format. Then only you will get that. Now you click on remove background. It is very simple. Extreme left hand corner, remove background. Okay. Now when you choose that, it, it would be something like this. So this pink, excuse me. So this pink areas, no, it's like that focused. So if you want to mark up an area, let's say mark areas to keep. Let's say you want uh, these uh, green, green uh, mountains or whatever this is to be there. So you just click here and just select these areas that you want. These are the areas that I want. Okay. It's like eraser. Okay. You have to remove this uh, pink kind of a thing so that those areas are selected. See, these areas are selected. Better with the pencil. Uh, okay. Now let's say you want to remove this uh, portion. You don't want the clouds. You just want this green thing. So you have to select in this way that the clouds are gone. See, it will be pink. So I never knew that photoshopping is so easy. Yeah, it is. I mean, trust me. And then do not forget to 
click on keep changes then only that will be gone otherwise it will not be all right abhi dekho theek se nahi hua na wapas se hum karenge theek hai abhi wapas se ye area nahi chahiye mujhe okay ye pura area nahi chahiye mujhe okay keep changes yeah good done that's amazing okay. yeah that is wonderful great great okay so now we have a, a little bit let's check how much people know about powerpoint so mukul has created a nice uh, quiz for all of us and the audience so mukul please go ahead and we will participate in the quiz yes definitely i will share my screen mm -hmm. So this is the link. Can you please post the link? Yeah, I did post the link, and um, I would request all the audience to join or click on that link so that you can join the quizzes game. In case uh, you, you can join, to join from uh, this code also. Yeah. So or you so can just go to joinmyquiz.com and enter the given code that is on the screen. So let's all join. okay and i haven't used powerpoint much but i might fail but i'm just going to give it a try <laughs> no no uh, <laughs> questions are very simple so all can join and the rest of them i think we are in the same boat little bit <laughs> tricky yeah okay i see a lot so of people 11, joining in yes 11 are there uh, should we start Yeah, let's let's wait for another twenty thirty seconds, okay. and um, we might have more audience to uh, play the quiz with us. Yes. Uh, please join. You can uh, click on link or uh, which is given in the chat, or you can uh, in open new window in browser and uh, just uh, type joinmyquiz dot com and uh, that will uh, ask you for code. So please type this um, code. Mukul, ma'am, I love the theme. It's winter theme, right? Yes, it's winter theme. Yeah, I just noticed the theme. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah, and Mukul knows a lot about quizzes, so I think uh, she might have picked <laughs> the right one for the right season. Okay, should yeah, we start now? Fifteen hours. Yes. Yeah. Let's yes. Start. So let us start. exciting i have never used uh, shortcut keys <laughs> if you don't know just click on the option it will give you right answer also oh that's cheating <laughs> oh so there is a question on animation i got it right <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I'm done. Nitika ma'am and Bhumika ma'am are leading. Dipti ma'am. Kia <laughs> ma'am. I've become a, quite a competitor when it comes to quiz. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always have this feeling you know, I have to win. <laughs> it is very exciting actually. Yes, it is. Quizzes. Uh, I love quizzes. So And you know my students also every day they want me to take quiz, yes. so I have to tell them that अरे portion तो होने दो 
And this I think that is community powers. Like I know, and I get community powers, no? That also leads to uh, the session that we are going to have next weekend. That is gamification in your classroom. So, yes. uh, audience, we it's would like be setting up. It, it's like a teaser. Yes, how how you can have gamification in your classroom to make it more exciting. Uh, and Kasturi ma'am, there's a question for you. Is there any way we can see the given animation in the PDF format of this presentation? So is the animation possible in PDF format? Uh, ma'am, you're on mute. I'll stop music. Yeah, animation in PDF format is not possible so far. But then, yes, you can obviously convert that into a GIF. Possible. So I think any ma'am has got her answer. But what you can do is, you know what, Ritika, ma'am. So let's say if you really want uh, animation in a PDF, we can use Keynote. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm going okay. to end the quiz now. Mm -hmm. Oh, my and... God. Ritika is the winner. Ah uh, Yes, Ritika. Ritika, ma'am, is the winner. And uh, uh, let's see, leaderboard. So, Daljit, ma'am, third place. Tia on second. And Ritika, ma'am, on first place. Excellent. Now, we're and a mountain and a vacation to the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, so um, amazing. It was, it was quite fun, right? We learned, we played a game. We learned something new. I, it was completely new for me. I've never done animation in PowerPoint. So thank you so much, uh, Kasturi, for yes. coming here and helping uh, share your expertise with our educators to help yes. them be more proficient in their classrooms. As well as for our audience, uh, please do connect with Kasturi Ma'am. Please do connect with GEG Pune and Maharashtra as well as GEG Ahmedabad for more such sessions. You may also uh, consider joining our WhatsApp group, Google group, where we share a lot of information. We ask questions to each other. There are teachers who are ready to help and just uh, uh, figure out the solutions to any kind of issues that you might have in your classrooms. So uh, thank you so much, all of you, for joining in. I have already posted the uh, feedback link. So we love to hear your feedback and what kind of sessions you would like us to bring in for you. And especially, I would like to thank um, the volunteer educators who actually come in and are ready to share their expertise. That is more important because, because of them and because of people like Kasturi. Um, we are able to bring you such um, amazing professional development sessions. So thank you all so much. Next weekend, we have another amazing session, which is called Gamification in Your Classroom. So just like we did quizzes, we, we would have more of such tools, apps, um, make and take kind of session where we'll show you how to create interactive Google Slides to make it into a game in your classroom and how it can enhance uh, your teaching and learning for the students. So uh, that is all from me. Anybody else would like to convey their uh, thank yes. you to uh, I want to say thank you so much. Kasturi Kasturi Ma thank you so much. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Sometimes uh, if I want animation to slide, I, I, I use the GP, OK? So whatever GP I got, I uh, option But now I can make my own GP or my own animation. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. My pleasure, my pleasure. Or we both kuch kar sakte, ma'am. Be in touch. We will definitely okay. have an uh, thank you, Kasturi ma'am. Thank you thank so you. much. Okay. It was really nice and it is always fun to learn things from you. Uh, and uh, I'm sure the audience has got benefited from this. And we are looking forward to the gamification session now. I'm so excited for that. Yeah. I am. I'm going to be there. Absolutely. Okay. I'll see all of you next week. And till then, take care and bye bye. Rachel, before you leave, uh, I yeah. also want to convey my thanks to all of you, Ritika, Uku ma'am, Pail ma'am, Dipti ma'am, and yes, of course, Reshma, you, and definitely the guests who have joined us. Uh, I think I was in a position to share a little bit of whatever I have and I want to learn more. So please keep on sending me your uh, uh, link so that I can also participate and learn more. And uh, the knowledge transfer should keep on going.
Right. Absolutely. So thank you so much for again. Thank you. And uh, see you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.